my story today is outrageous. But it's been the most popular topic we always talk about vandalism. Two weeks ago, police investigated a smash and grab or event or robbery in two different stores, from Peter Private Pizza to another store. And also another one here on SBID that talks from a breast marine. Those stories are more, those stories are more on today's give me a break. June 18th is a day you must remember. It's not really a day you must remember. It's a day that happened, it happened at Corpus Christi when a smash and grab happened. Police say, TCSD said, said they, were, they were called out to investigate a smash and grab overnight. This happened like, in like two different places in the SBID, a beauty shop, at a beauty shop, and on Peter Piper, and at Peter Piper Pizza here in Corpus. Nobody uh, really knew the suspects, but if they knew the suspects of what happened, they would possibly get the information. So the two stores again were Peter Piper Pizza and a beauty place. I think this wasn't just a smash and grab. It was, if it was a smash and grab, it would be, be just a smash and grab, but I still say it was vandalism. Because you just break in and break stuff, that's vandalism. Even though they have a a no trespassing sign on each property. When it says no trespassing, it says no trespassing. You can't be sure whether or not you trespass someone's property. You'd be under arrest for trespassing and vandalism. Two of the things that I don't tolerate, trespassing and vandalism. If I trespass on my, on my own property, it's my property and no one actually cares. And now the police are still investigating, but if the cop, the, the CCISD is still investigating, and if you have if you have information that could lead to an arrest, you're more than welcome to contact 888 tips. We'll put that in the description. So again, if you know someone who robbed the uh, the Peter Piper Peter Piper Pizza on across town, just call 888 tips. We'll put that in the description. So I th what I think about this story, I'll tell you what I think about. I think, I think, I think someone should have followed the no trespassing, trespassing sign. When it says no trespassing, no trespassing, it don't mean you can just go in and destroy someone's property. That's vandalism. You go in and destroy someone's property, and trespass, that's vandalism and trespassation. Trespassation. Why would I even say that? That's vandalism and trespassing. If you vandalize my property and where I work at, I, I want to know who. I want. I want to understand. I would find out who did this, chase them down, call any eight tips, teach them justice. I still got a lot to cover here. On this Monday. So we're going to take a break, come back, and we're going to talk about movie theater etiquette. I got, I got my, I got facts on this computer right here. I can just look things up, I can just look things up and give, and talk to you guys about movie theater etiquette. And about discipline here. Those two topics are coming up next, so stay with us. Stay right here. I'm going to talk about Okay. It's time to talk about movie theater etiquette, meaning what not to do in the theater. And this, these are some big ones, thanks to Thrillist.com. Turn off your phone. Not silent. Off. Hold down the power button. And when it says turn off, turn off. If it's something important, you need to you need to call beforehand. Or if it's an emergency, you go to the bathroom or turn off the light. Don't bring your entire dinner to the theater. Don't don't sneak in food or drinks. Period. Don't pound booze. Don't pound booze out of soda cup and get plastered. Try to consume your food and drinks as quietly as possible. Don't chew your mouth open like. 
Chew with your mouth closed like this. And don't suck every drop of liquid from your tanger and shake the ice in the process. Don't hog, don't hog the armrests. This also goes to the airplane. Don't pre-act the GERD parts of the movie you've seen before. Don't explain how the movie, don't explain the movie while the actual movies, no matter how confusing it is. Don't spoil parts of the movie while wasting, while waiting in line or in the lobby. Never shush. This happened to me. Yet this happened to me yesterday. Yesterday I was watching Aladdin, and some mother couldn't control his kid, so my mom was like shh, and I was going shh. She was like, never do that. Don't treat movie theaters like hands on a dick here. Take care of kids is a physical and emotional challenge. Don't hook up. I mean, seriously, if you're, going on, if you're going on movies for a date, it's okay, but if you're going to see them, seriously, I would advise for you, if you're going to go to movies on a date, that's totally up to you, but... But don't be hooking up while people watch the movie. And don't, also don't groom yourself. Never seek a seat for someone who may or may not be coming. And don't go absolutely laughing. Laughing's good for you. But don't go crazy. Don't clap for moments on cinematic justice. So those are the tips that you need to learn about if you're going to, next time you go into a movie. Also, you must buy your refreshments before you sit down, you sit courteously, you get your seat carefully, keep your hands and feet to yourself, get a coach quietly, get a higher babysitter. You need to lower your voice. Just because the first amendment says you can say whatever you want, that doesn't mean you can scream, FIRE! In a crowded theater. Sorry, let me do that again. Just because you're in a crowded theater, and the First Amendment says you can say whatever you want. Doesn't mean you can say, FIRE! In a crowded theater. You know what that would mean? People would trample and you'd be liable. I mean, free speech doesn't mean we can say anything we want. And when they tell you, why we, why did you scream in the theater? And they tell you, and you would say to them, it's my first amendment right. I say whatever I want. I would put these out, but the drive is taking too long, so. I say to, uh, say. I mean, we want to make this short. We'll be right back. Welcome, 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 welcome back to the etiquette edition of this show, where we talk about etiquette. Our next one is our, is all about restaurant etiquette. Sometimes you just go to the restaurant and act out, but you have kids serving kids. They you choose to act out. Dress nicely? Well, Sometimes I wear this, but it nice. This might be acceptable. Don't put your cell phone keys on the table. Don't let your guests order first. Do set a payment ahead of time if you're the host. Don't tell the someone how much you want to spend on wine. Don't return the wine unless it's awful. Do take pictures of the food unless you're with a client. Do know to where to place your napkin, your lap. That's okay. 
Don't reach across the table to sample your companion's food. Don't yell to your waiter. Just raise your hand and say, excuse me. Only say Mac food is not cooked properly. Like if it's raw, it's raw. Do order the same number of portions as you as your companion. Always remember table manners, don't start a business conversation with the conclusion of an entree. Wipe your fingers in your mouth with a napkin, cut one piece of meat or fish at a time in your plate, butter burning your plate, never made air. Look looking to not cover the cup when drinking. Sit up straight, keep your arms and elbows off the table. Like me. I know you may never see it, but just like that. Well, that's all there is to the, uh... Let's talk about the airplane etiquette. The Ten Commandments. From GlobeGuy.ca Thou shalt turn off your phone. Don't bring stinky food or stink. Remember, you are the your parent. Honor the cute. Share the armrest. Don't hog it up. Use your inside voice. Not grab the seat in front of you. Don't grab the seat in front of you. Keep the beeping to yourself on security officials. Do not unpack the aisle, yada yada yada. Just gonna remember one thing, when you choose to behave, you choose consequence. You choose to break all the rules we talk about, we talk about in this episode, you choose the consequence of getting kicked out. Also, get carded, just stay in your line, just for success, family feud, don't bring everything in the, but the kitchen sink, drink up, bag it, bin it, multitask and move, don't argue, don't, I mean, seriously, this ain't the Jerry Springer and Maury show, where they go, <laughs> don't be a gate crasher, don't be a hog, don't play musical chairs. Sit. Don't linger on the jetway. <laughs> okay. We've gone far enough here. I mean, there's always, <laughs> seriously, it's all about etiquette. What about school etiquette? Let's see here. Well, that's it for giving me this short edition. Give me a break. We're gonna have more like this in the coming future, but not tomorrow. Wednesday, it's gonna be tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm not sure, but it's gonna be all about the myths, lies, myths, lies, and stupidity. You want you want to know what those are? Tune tune in tomorrow, Wednesday. Until next time, America.